Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the types of multiplexing and we shall discuss about frequency division multiplexing, guys. Okay, so there are totally the three types of multiplexing, guys. Those are nothing but frequency division multiplexing, wavelength division multiplexing, time division multiplexing. Time division multiplexing can be synchronized or asynchronized, fine? Okay, so now let us go through frequency division multiplexing. So frequency division multiplexing. It is an analog technique. Please remember the point, guys. It is an analog technique. So basically from the name itself we can say so basically here we'll be using the relation of time and frequency guys so here it is saying frequency division so let us write here frequency and here time okay so here frequency division so we will be allotting certain frequency for a particular process fine so for a particular user we will be using allotting these things guys Okay, so for a particular user, user 1 will be having a frequency from 0 to 500, whereas user 2 will be having 500 to 7000 in that way. So they can use this frequency in any amount of time, guys. It, there is no limit for time. So once you are going through the points, you'll be getting a clear idea. Don't worry. Okay, so from the name, we can say frequency division, right? So that is the reason why I'm saying frequency divide. So frequency will be divided into parts between the users, fine? Okay, so here frequency division multiplexing, it is an analog technique. So in frequency division multiplexing, all users use the common channel at the same time. So they are going to use the common channel at the same time for full time from starting to the final. But they are allocated different frequencies, frequencies to prevent any kind of signal interaction interfaces. So to avoid interfaces and any other issues, we, they, we will be dividing the frequency into two parts or more parts, two or more parts, fine. So the bandwidth is divided among the users, not the time. So bandwidth is nothing but our frequency, right? So here the bandwidth is divided, not, not time. Whereas in time division frequency, time will be divided and bandwidth will be kept constant. We'll be going through it, don't worry. Okay, so there is a possibility of crosstalk here. So there is a possibility of crosstalk, right? So crosstalk is nothing but the whatever the user one is doing, there may be issues with user two, right? So that is nothing but we will be calling it as crosstalk guys or any kind of disturbances also we can call them fine. So there is a possibility of crosstalk in FFD, sorry FDM. That is nothing but frequency division multiplexing since all the signals are transmitted simultaneously. Yes, that is true. So basically we can even say that they are traveling for infinite time, right? So that particular time. So there is a high chance of issues of crosstalk, fine. So the advantages here will be it is an analog signal and it is very simple and we will be running it for full time, right? So the disadvantage is it suffers from crosstalk. That is nothing but the example will be FM radio for frequency division multiplexing. They will be saying right 99.9 .9 FM, 98.7 FM. So that is nothing but your frequency for that particular radio station or the user, fine? Okay, so if you take this example, this could be the example, guys. User is allotted with green, I think it's appearing as green itself, okay. Green and blue for user one, fine? So here we will be dividing the frequency. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through wavelength division multiplexing. Thank you. Thanks for watching.